When I first noticed Anya's retinoblastoma, I looked into her eye and noticed a glare that just looked funny to me. So I Googled it and saw immediately cancer was coming up and the images that I saw looked just like what we were seeing. So we went to an ophthalmologist immediately. She said, I'm gonna send you to Dr. Shapiro, one of the top guys in the country. And if this was my child, this is where I would go. Retinoblastoma is a cancer or tumor on the retina of the eye. Left untreated, it can pass along the optic nerve into the brain and become even more serious. Dr. Shapiro offered the option of intra-arterial chemotherapy, which is a relatively new form of treatment for this type of cancer. And in our fourth treatment, we realized that the tumor kept spreading and that further treatment was not going to help. In March of this year, she had her eye removed. After Anya's eye was removed, the results came back that they recommended systemic chemotherapy. You know, we did what we had to do. She may appear dainty, but she is indeed a warrior. And so, a few days of going through what we went through, people kept saying, you need to write a blog. And so, of course, you need a name. And I just kept hearing, dainty warrior, dainty warrior, that's who she is. So that's really what her superhero name became. In January of this year, we drew up a rocket ship and Anya sat down with some old paints that I had and we just started painting and we realized right away, this girl's got a talent. Now, almost a year later, um, she's done over 50 paintings. The paintings raised money for pediatric um, cancer foundations. There's always a new mural every time she gets admitted. Erica's the one who draws them and I know Anya's the one who puts the life and the color into it. The thing that inspires me most about Anya is that she doesn't let her illness get the better of her. When she's here for treatments, you'll always find her in her room dancing, despite all the cords that are attached to her. She's constantly on the move. Most adults wouldn't be able to handle it half as well as she's handling it, and she's only four. So she's just an amazing child, and. Her laughter and her energy just really, I think, brings smiles to everybody's faces. Kevin was really great at reaching out to Anya. Just so delicate about her approach. Where very quickly, Anya was looking forward to seeing Kevin. It's been over a month since she's been there, and she just said two weeks ago, I miss my doctor friends and my hospital friends. So it really shows you, even in, in that scary time, she found a family there. She's just amazing to me. No matter what, I'm a proud father. You know, she didn't need to do all this. It's just her just showing how amazing she really is. And I look up to her.